Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Thursday, the 8th of August and probably Friday, the 9th of August, 2019. As usual, we typically don't do market previews for Thursday going into Friday as most of the week has played out. However, given the action and the volatility we've seen, even though it's been a little awkward, uh, if we get something strange on Thursday, we might do one for a Friday uh, to end the week. It is uh, a summer Friday in theory, although... I said August tends to see a little more volatility than July, and we're already seeing that, so that's good. Uh, here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. Look, that 13 sell signal did what it was supposed to do. We got almost all the way down to the risk line. We're now uh, eight candles down towards a new startup phase. Uh, doesn't mean the drop is over. The key area, obviously, is the 2730 area or whatever that is. That was the low at the beginning of March and the low at the uh, beginning of June. If we were to break that, then there's not much support all the way down to the lows from back in December. All right, let's go through the major daily charts. Then we'll look at the intraday action. Go from there. Crude oil up a buck twenty-five to fifty-two thirty-four. Um, what it is? Gold down. Now here's the thing. Uh, gold's not down. Gold. It's not gold uh, we had a recycle on gold, so there's no thirteen sell signal coming in on gold. We were one candle away from it, and it's not going to happen, just so you're aware, which means gold can still go higher. The S&P cash gained two points after opening lower. We'll look at the intraday action in a minute. The NASDAQ 100 up 30.58, um, but obviously down for the week. The SOX up 10 and sitting where it has been for the last two or three days. Uh, Biotech's down are up 5.63. Russell 2000 loses a point, which is just a flip. Obviously, the VIX came back 68 cents to 19.49. After hitting 25, almost 25 the other day, trend 0.93, but that leaves the 10-day moving average at 1.27, which is not any type of signal for us. NASDAQ volume, 2.4 billion shares. One of the better days we've seen. Uh, I'm sorry, one of the well, sorry, one of the lighter days we've seen over the last week, but better than we've seen generally for a while. Uh, advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ, negative 22. So almost exactly the same amount of stocks up as down on the New York, negative 1. 97, which is fairly flat as well. Google gains $4.83. Apple up $2.04. Uh, these stocks all look the same, right? They're moving completely in sync at this point in time. Netflix down $5.81. So that's a new low since, uh, basically a new low, it's almost a new low close since January 1st So for the year. Amazon up five fifty seven, which is a blip for Amazon. Tesla up $2.67. Facebook gains $0.64. Cents. Goldman Sachs loses 27 cents. TLT, the 20 year bond ETF, up 5 cents. It was a lot higher. It gapped up. The bonds really gapped up. The Dow was down 22 after being down much, much more than that earlier in the day. In terms of intraday action, so remember the day before we end up, like if you go back to Monday, we closed. Then the futures plunged after the close, spent the whole night climbing, and actually gapped up Tuesday morning. We gapped up, we filled the gap, and then we curled back up. And pushed higher, broke out of that little cup in the afternoon and settled above that level. Now on uh, Wednesday, Tuesday night going to Wednesday, the futures were volatile again. And this time late in the session, they, before the open uh, in the Globex session, they dropped. And so we gapped down, started to push lower, which was looking really ugly, but we didn't quite crack the lows of Monday. Had we done that, I think we would have had a very different day that we were really prepared for. But instead, uh, we just got to bounce back. By the time we went into lunch, we were sitting right where we'd opened. We drifted back up and filled the gap, and that was about it. NASDAQ looks about the same. That's it. Um, so I wouldn't say there's a lot there to look at. Nothing on the daily charts to look at that we saw. Obviously, there's volatility out there. There's negative news around the world. There's an interest rate challenge, and there's a currency war going on. So And tariffs on top of it. So none of that is positive for the market. It does not look good. Glad I'm not an investor. Uh, in terms of economic data coming out still for the rest of the week, we've got the uh, weekly initial and continuing jobless claims numbers at 8.30 a.m. tomorrow, Thursday morning. Final health sale inventory is at 10. Natty gas at 10.30. 30-year bond auction after that. And then Friday by itself is just the PPI number an hour before the bell. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Hopefully we have some good volatility. Have a great trading Thursday and